What's up guys? Hope everyone's doing all right. Today I'm gonna to show you a little trick that may get you out of a jam when it comes to HVAC capacitors and not having the correct size. For instance, I recently ran a call where I had a five ton compressor that called for an 80 MFD capacitor. We do not have any 80 MFD capacitors in stock. We will in the future. Um, it's the only unit on this whole property that doesn't have, that, that uses an 80 MFD. So what I did to make it work, and it is a permanent fix, it is a work, if you have a 40 MFD and another 40 MFD and you wire them in parallel at an equal 80 MFD. So when you wire capacitors in parallel, you just kind of add them up. And to wire them in parallel, you just connect two wires, one, two, let's see, we'll put this one on the inside. And now, when we take our reading, we're gonna do it just from one of the capacitors. So just to show you, I've got my meter set to microfarad right now. Gonna hook that up. And as you see, we've got 78 um, close enough to the acceptable range for a 80 MFD capacitor. Wiring this in parallel and it will get you through if you don't have that correct capacitor. You're not going to run into this every day now. This is just a type of emergency type trick and where you see I have these terminals on my meter hooked up that will go to the start winding and your power coming in. So if I just take these out, if I was going to wire this to a compressor, say this would be my line in. And this would be to my start winding. Blue to the start winding, orange to my line in. And that would give me an 80 MFD capacitor. If I needed a 70, no problem. It's just very, very simple math. I could grab a 30 MFD, wire this in parallel, and then just pick a side, it doesn't really matter. And as you see, it's registering close to 70 MFD, which is within the 5-6% that most capacitors call for. This can definitely get you out of a jam. It's very simple to wire capacitors in parallel to get the capacitor you need if you don't have it. Now, to get a little more technical, say we have, we need a... I don't know, a 20 MFD capacitor, but all we have are 240s. So to do this, we're gonna wire this in what we call a series. So this is gonna be a series right here where your line in will come in right there. Your line out will go out there. And when we test, let's make sure that it works. We've got 20 MFD capacitor. Now it's very easy to wire this in series if you have two of the capacitors that are equal. It gets a little more confusing if you're looking for a different type or a smaller one, you're gonna to have to do a little bit of math that I cannot do in my head. I don't even know how to say the formula out loud, but I'll 
post it right here. Check it out. That's the formula to get the capacitor size you want when wiring it in series. And like I said, in a perfect world, you always want to have the right size capacitor on hand. It makes everything a lot easier, but that is not always the situation. This is just a little, it's not a hack. It's just a trick. It's simple math. Um, series can get a little confusing, but once you get the gist of it and write down that formula for series that I posted up, and you should be good to go. Hopefully this helps anyone. If you have any comments, suggestions, please leave a comment below. If you like the videos I make, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you wanna see future videos and tips from me. It's spring right now. I live in Denver. It's gonna be heating up. There's gonna be a lot of AC questions coming in. I get a lot of questions from the maintenance techs that I work with. I'm gonna be posting tons of videos with HVAC tips and all sorts of goodies for you that should help you. If you've been to HVAC school or if you're a HVAC serviceman, this video may not help that much. It may be a little refresher, maybe something you forgot. But anyways, hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell if you want to get updated whenever I post new content. Until the next video tips, catch y'all next time.